the Director of Australian Online Therapy Training. And I have Rodney here with me from the Help Now group. Um, and I want to introduce Rodney and he's going to be one of the speakers at the Conference Vision for 2020. So welcome Rodney and just um, if you could tell everyone a little bit about yourself. Yes, good afternoon. Thanks, Renee, and thanks very much for having me. I'm, I'm very, very excited for those out there watching. I'm very excited and honoured to be uh, invited to the Vision for 2020 conference. I'm, I, I, I'm just pumped. I think it's, uh, it's a great way to start the year, uh, bring like-minded professionals together and some off-the-beaten-track professionals to, to come together and put our, put our heads together to plan to serve uh, the Australian community. A um, little bit about me. I've run the Help Now group since uh, 2016. I've been a social worker over 15 years in both America and Australia. Um, and I run my own private uh, employee assistance counseling program, as well as uh, just recently appointed uh, president of the Peer Work Association, um, which is for mental health peer support workers. And um, a big thing for me is uh, just having that life cycle of uh, mental health service delivery and um, each step of the way, not just from, uh, I've got some issues to, I need a white jacket. You know, I think this uh, group of professionals coming together uh, is going to help people uh, have that stepping, that staged uh, mental health intervention connections, uh, which is really cool uh, from online counseling to your local uh, GP to psychiatry. I think it's a great opportunity for me and, and, all of us coming out there and those looking to, you know, humming and hawing if they're going to buy tickets uh, to come out and it's going to be very, uh, mm. you know, I like the design of the, how the conference is set up and uh, yeah, you can see me on both days on the 20th and 21st of January in the yeah. Gasworks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, thanks, Rodney, because um, <laughs> you, you've told everyone <laughs> what I was going to say. But um, what's, what I'm finding interesting and thank you for sharing that so far is, I think you and I have a lot of um, synergies, synergy is the right word, um, where we're both working in tech and therapy and mm -hmm. both also supporting at each and every stage. So um, I'm a supervisor, um, I'm a mentor and coach and therapist and all that kind of stuff. And I know you do very similar things and do EAP. So I, I see there's a lot of similarities. But what I wanted to talk to you today in particular was, I guess, um, first and foremost, what are you going to talk about at the conference and what and, and why do you think that everybody should come i guess listen to what you have to say yeah absolutely i think uh look day one for me is part of my um asw accredited uh, cpd series um which is very much focused on transitioning um professionals that don't have a lot of tertiary uh education and training in technology um, and they don't like to fiddle enough with it, like you and I have, <laughs> to, uh, to, to make it work for them and make the mistakes and learn from those mistakes. Mm -hmm. um, and my focus really is going to be about just my journey, my lived experience in tumbling through those uh, learning blocks. But also, I think a big thing that Help Now Group hangs their lapels on is really being tapped into other industries and knowing that there's so many elements that every single business owner has, mm -hmm. HR, payroll, yeah. appointments, security, taxes, you know, it's, there's so many, it seems like such a narrow bandwidth for people to go, oh, I need appointment software. I need all these different things yeah. and help now group. A big thing for us is having um, other people that run technologies within marketing, within um, yeah. business and taxation and all that good stuff that continues to just change at a rapid space yeah. and and for us you know with with our uh technology for for booking systems and domain management and and i guess uh, a big thing for us is we'll be talking about democratizing that type of thing because yeah. i know professionals and the ones i've spoken with on um, in our group the 18 yeah. we have nationally that um a big thing for them is having ownership over it Yes. but not getting not getting overwhelmed like maybe you had before maybe i had before where 
I have to know everything about the taxation, uh, you know, the, the accounting software. I have to know yeah. everything about the WordPress yeah. management. I have to know yeah. everything about yeah. um, the appointment booking system, I, you know, yeah. and it's very, it very easily spirals. Yeah. And it doesn't have to. And, yeah. and that's why, you know, for us, it's uh, in the conversation is going to be, how do you put yourself in and have the right strong relationships where you still have your domain, Yep. But you're not burnt out on the back of house stuff yep. to serve frontline people. And you yep. can save more cost yep. having a really good relational team that has yep. that other technology yes. expertise. Because it's very easy, as you you and the you know viewers out there might have seen previously, yep. um, when they tuck into their bass reporting or they tuck into yep. their uh, you know, marketing builder or whatever it is. Um, yep they they lose hours and hours and i've seen it i've done it i'm i'm guilty hand on heart yeah. i've done it yeah, yeah i guess just talking about where those stepping stones are for people and yeah. just transitioning their practice into uh something where they're really full because they're yeah. still they're still out there wanting to change yeah. uh, change people's lives and it's transformational yep yeah. they've honed those therapy and theory skills and practice and they've done that yeah. with them yeah and you just hate that that energy sucked away that as hundred percent you no know, it just gets sponged away by, by that stuff yeah, sleepless yeah. nights and, yeah. <laughs> and domain management systems yeah 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 yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so that's um and and look it, it'll be good to have it's, it sounds like a very diverse uh, group yep. that's coming yeah um, so you know look we don't have all the answers but i think we've got some pathways for people yeah to talk about and yep. things that work for me now so yep. people can avoid those those pitfalls that are very very mm -hmm. easily um jumped into when they are doing yep. practice or yep. they've got a hold on it and then google changes all their api records and everything <laughs> and freak yeah. Out. Um, yeah 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 so just being able to hold on to the wheel i think is, is probably important in 2020 uh, I 100% agree. And what's interesting, you coming in, you're almost talking similarly yet differently to Yanni Zapanos, who's from Core Plus. So he does the front end stuff and looks after the back end for people. And you're talking about democratizing it. So I think what's brilliant is there will be um, people be able to see whether you can do it for yourself or whether you want someone else to do it for you. Um, and I talk to both, which is really interesting. So I talk to how could you do that or do the other and what the upsides and the downsides are. So, so I think this will be really interesting to have particularly you, myself and Yanni there talking to people about how do you get this stuff organised so it actually is a better experience for, for both you and your clients so that we're giving better service but also more at the ready service and um, yeah, yeah, so I'm hearing you. Um, so, so digital disruptions you'll be talking about. I'm just wondering what the focus will be for your talk. The big focus for me is, is how people engage with systems. Um, yeah. It doesn't, you know, Yanni system, our system, a zero system, MYLB. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, um, Look, it's almost a self-care kind of conversation on pick the ones that you think you've got to hold on um, and how you're calculating your time. Uh, mm -hmm. I think, you know, I hear, some, you know, the war stories of people working through NDIS and Medicare paperwork and, uh, you know, DVA and lots, you know, they work, they work through their systems, their information yeah. systems. And then they've got to work through their private systems and they just, you know, yeah. it's, I think, look, to, to carry on, it's it's making sure they have a good roster of tools, but I think how they're calculating their time a little bit better yeah. um, and just going, you know, when changes will be introduced because we've got um, some international, uh, you know, very, you know, they work with international servers for big multi-conglomerates about changes to security and warning me about don't buy Apple and lots of other things. Um, we talk you know, able to talk with them, get to some industry knowledge. So they're, they're really measuring out their time properly. Cause uh, yeah, I think disruptions will come. 
Yeah. And I think it's just making sure that they're understanding how they, I mean, a lot of your stuff, and I think uh, the other people chatting is, is those users engagements and connecting with those individuals. Yep. And I think for our session, the contrast will be how we're interacting with that system ourselves yes. um, and our time management around that mm -hmm. and making sure that we know when it's blowing out and yep. we know when uh, to ask for help and not yep. lose control when we do ask for help. Cause I think that's a big fear yeah. of practitioners yep. going, Oh great. I'll have a practice management tool or I'll have a, I'll have a website managed by someone else, a third party and pay through the nose or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know there's, there's always that thing in the back of the mind going, well, if I do it myself, then yeah. I know I have all the control of it, yes. which is not, it's, it's not, it's not necessary. It can be done but it takes a considerable amount of upskilling and learning to do yes. that. So I guess just talking about bridging that gap and giving themselves time to learn it. Cause I think yeah. anyone that introduces systems and technologies to people, it's, you know, whoever you engage, it's, you know, training them how to you, tune into the right language of what they're saying to them. Yeah. And also just making sure that they're building a space that they can grow. They're not growing dependence like we do with, with clients. I mean, it's, yeah. it's very similar. Um, you know, they're giving domain therapy, right? <laughs> C panel, C panel therapy. <laughs> um, and I think, you know, it's, it's very similar. And when I talk to developers and I talk to bookkeepers and I talk to marketing guys and they have, they're using systems, the big message is, is they, they want the same thing. Yep. They want the same thing to not create dependence, help people grow when yep. they're ready to grow and they have space. Cause if you have too many clients or whatever, um, you're you working a couple of jobs and yeah you want to manage something yourself you know mm -hmm. find solutions that give you to give you space and time to learn to mm -hmm. use those and then you can fully take control without yeah. losing, losing um time and money yes 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 i think we both have similar aims definitely rodney in terms of your stuff and my stuff um and on mine's like more like the front end of how, how are we actually holding the space for clients in this kind of space mm. too, as well as working with the system. So you've got to have all both. Yeah. yeah. Sure. So, so yeah, I'm hearing you on many different levels there from what you're saying. So I'm also interested in the mental health advocacy um, talk that you're also going to be giving on the second day. So there's two days of the conference. There's an initial full conference the first day and then there's mm. a it's basically like a big training day on the second day so um going much more immersing into you know um different topics and yours is i think you're about 45 minutes on the first day and about 45 minutes on the second day but then you're going to be part of our panel so i'm just interested particularly on the mental health advocacy sure well <laughs> yeah look um day two is going to be fantastic i think um because of that fine tuning and, and, and how uh, people are going to branch out and really unpack either own their space and what they're doing or learn new uh, things. Uh, look, I think from a, from a social work perspective, what I've seen in the industry, um, whether it's politics, whether it's association driven, uh, member driven uh, directions with thing, what I, I guess it's going to be really unpacking where, where those barriers are. Um, and I think, you know maybe i've listened to john lennon too much but i think you know we can all probably you know imagine a world together um yes living yeah. in peace and i think you know as i've unpacked some mental health peer support stuff mm. and a big charge towards that i think if we're not if we're not united in public policy yeah as a counselor psychotherapist recce you know drumming whatever whatever those things are that are helping people heal and grow and get vibrations mm -hmm. to change their lives yeah. if, if we're not uh having shared shared vision of yeah. addressing that life cycle mm. uh, it'll be unpacking what i talked about previously which is that customer life cycle from things are a bit murky i've been away from work a couple of days i'm not feeling that well to to, to diagnosis and prescriptions mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, is making sure how we're tuning in and making sure that we've got a team with us again it's that it's that relationships with 
you know, people, you know, you and I, you know, collegial relationship and how we're able to pass, pass people through different yeah. systems without, without losing our territory. Cause yeah. I think, you know, I mean, yeah. it's, 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 it's foolish to, to not call that out and say, you know, if I operate in this postcode, I need yeah. as many referrals as possible to sustain, you know, put food yeah. on the table, bread and water. Um, but I think, you know, making sure that if we've got those connected relationships, how we unite that voice and, yeah. and options that we have in 2020, um, yeah. which will be part of some stuff we'll be doing in February and March for budget time. Yes, uh, and some policy uh, policy yeah. questions uh, or okay. letters or submissions. Yeah. Um, so I'd be interested in that, and maybe we can even mention that at the conference. What you're going to be doing? Oh, look, and I, and, I, and I think people are so hungry for it. I think yeah, um, yeah. It's you know, I mean, the the bushfire is a perfect example. Um, not yes. to not to highlight that that's uh, you know for all the people out there that are in a bad way, you know, our thoughts and prayers are with you and, and hope um, smoke clears. Um, but I think it shows representative bodies aren't representing what the frontline professionals are saying. No. And not. if we don't supercharge that in a synergy, yep. then it's always going to be, Oh, they got that funding. I didn't get this funding. Where's this funding? Ra rah, rah. And yeah, 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 yeah. No when we all hold each other in mutual respect yeah i think and have a conduit to do it which which is part of my passion is just organizing groups of people like you yeah. get yeah. them together and say look yeah non-negotiables mental health policy because i mean look they've done that mental health national fifth plan and suicide and yeah. that type yeah. of thing i would argue that stuff in there that's really valuable yeah how do we as you know, forensic psychiatrists to mental health peer workers yep. go, yeah, this is the, this is the one that we will not break on yeah. and we need to come together to, to present. So mm. yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be uh, a, re I wouldn't say um, it's going to be energized just because it's mm. something I'm very, you know, it's, yeah, we can treat the symptoms all we want, but mm -hmm. the practitioners know, I mean, you know, I know that yeah. Yeah. If, we're not, if, if we're not, charging back towards the problem as strong as we do uh, yes. the symptoms then yep. we're going to keep chasing our tails yep absolutely i'm also glad just before you mentioned things like reiki and other things like that because we i think not enough do we look to um other alternative healing modalities and there's all this focus on evidence-based practice that we can then find um you know the smallest little needle in a haystack to prove our very point but then we miss the point of serving the client and serving the practitioners too so we need to be serving the client mm. serving the practitioners but also serving the general public just yeah. in general to be able to then help people so you know um at the moment because i, I live um around wollongong and we've had you know um the smoke from the fires but not the fires that close but but in sydney the fires have been really close which is only 80 k's north of me and honestly, um, the, the, the smoke that's come down, and just talking about that, we were mm -hmm. talking about it off air as well. So yeah. just the, the, the mere fact that we've got all of this smoke, it's like our physical health is now being impacted. Oh, yeah, and for the sure. Environment. And then, of course, the mental health is going to be impacted for everyone. And we all need a little bit of hope. And if I can help provide that through this conference, mm. I mean, that's, that's my, my feeling is we need to be providing hope to people, not well, starting yeah. a hopeless cycle. Well, we did a, we did a radio broadcast, uh, transforming perceptions last Saturday. And we talked about, we talked about that in, um, you know, the disaster recovery is going to be absolutely huge. And I know when I searched on disaster, mental health, disaster recovery training, I, know, I think New South Wales has one, but just even looking at that in itself, um, I think there's, a, like I said, I think there's so many things spiraling around. Um, I think if we can cement ourselves into where, where vulnerable people can recover and, and, can, and can keep getting support, um, sustainable support, which takes a strong policy, 
and strong commitment across professions um, is where we're going to get the right mix um, because governments change. I mean, we got an election in here in, in ACT in October next year. And I think if we're not really strong in numbers by a good time, it's going to be going to be hard. And those people in recovery are going to, they are going to struggle. I've got some indigenous mates in Sydney that, you know, mobility issues, health issues, and then they, you know, they're alone really. And, um, you know, that's, that, that was really hard for us, you know, to say, well, come down. It's like, well, there's so many other elements to it, not just pulling them out of, out of that area and then go back in. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, that, I mean, that'll be my Tuesday chat. Um, I think we're going to have some action based, uh, outcomes from it. I'm very much about what, are we, what are we going to do now? And I think, um, I think overall, uh, politicians will be receptive if we have that buy-in, which is, I mean, that's kind of what helping our group does anyway. I mean, we've got counselors, social workers, peer workers, mental health nurses, gambling recovery, um, specialists. And it's kind of like, well, we've got these players in the, in the field. Let's just link them together. Cause then we'll be unstoppable is really my, <laughs> that's, I'll be seeing clearly pardon the 2020 pun. There'll be a plenty of them. <laughs> uh, that's the exact point we've seen clearly we're also having a joint vision mm. um and we've got this joint vision for you know uh, basically the health and mental health of australians absolutely absolutely so so on that note probably would be good to wrap it up but thank you for your time rodney and um yeah i hope um everyone is safe out there and, and well because there's a lot of stuff going on out there in Australia, particularly in the eastern states, particularly mm. you know New South Wales and Canberra um, and ACT. So yeah, um, stay Thanks well. Go. We... Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Yeah, yeah. we hope to see everyone tickets. there. Yeah, because it's, don't wait. Uh, but you know, um, all of the people coming who are presenting are really heart-centered people, and so this conference, just to let everyone know out there, is for counsellors, psychotherapists, coaches, doctors lawyers, bankers, anyone who's in service-based businesses who want to actually take it to the next level of actually getting out there to do things differently for 2020 and beyond. So, take Thanks, care, everyone. Take Thank care. you, Rodney. Okay, bye. bye.